guilt around them because nobody wants to be sitting with anger. Nobody wants to be sitting with sadness. But mm. that's the true yoga, isn't it? The true yoga is like breathing, sitting with that sadness, sitting with the anger, sitting with whatever arises. Yeah, and not judging it, not saying that this anger is bad or this happiness is good. It's just, it, it just is. Yes, yes, yes. Pure awareness, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I feel that judgment sometimes, that judgment of this anger is bad mm-hmm. or whatever that judgment is just creates even more suffering because <laughs> then you're, you know, you're judging yourself and making yourself feel even worse. Yes, yes. Mm. Yes, because with guilt, guilt is a very paralyzing emotion. And shame, you know, the shame is also something that we're very scared to touch. Oh my God, there's shame. And if we touch shame, it's going to be like an endless abyss of shame. Um, but we're scared. It's just living. We're afraid. We're afraid of actually feeling, feeling the emotion fully because we think we're going to get stuck there. Mm. Yeah, and I can see also how this relates to, you know, how people choose various uh, behaviours to avoid yeah. feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's where addiction comes from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This topic of addiction has come up so many times today. <laughs> <laughs> really oh wow wow yeah it must be like a collective of thing processing yeah this is the third podcast i've done for today and it's come up in every <laughs> every wow. podcast addiction wow. and, and the connection to belonging oh yeah i love that yes <laughs> yeah it's a big yeah. topic yeah it's massive <laughs> yeah Mm-hmm. We yeah we will become addicted to things if we feel like we don't belong. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because it's escaping that. Yeah, fi- finding something else to fill that space, yeah. filling that void, filling the void because we feel like empty because we're too scared, too afraid to connect with ourselves, and then like oh I feel empty, I'm gonna put something else on it. And I remember when I did juice fast, so be like right, and then uh, there's no food, there's no food to numb what I'm feeling, so I'm just gonna have to sit here and feel it. Yeah, juice fast is my worst enemy. I still haven't <laughs> overcome it. <laughs> If you have any pointers, let me know. (laughs) How many days? How many days did you try? Oh, I haven't gotten past one. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. As soon as I see Mm -hmm. somebody else eating food, that's it. I just (laughs) yeah, think about it. Yeah, it's like I I love food. Mm, Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Water fast is my worst enemy because, like, I just become like a really horrible person. I'm just not nice to be around. I'd have to be isolated. in the jungle somewhere because otherwise i'm just like horrible yeah i think that would probably be the best for me to <laughs> isolate yeah. me so i don't have any other choice but to not yeah, eat for yeah. Mm. Oh. but i think also sitting with that and those feelings that come up is so super powerful yes yeah Yes, and how you feel afterwards, how the benefits of um, the benefits of going through that process and just emerging out of that process, and how you're gonna feel, how it's going to transform you. Yeah. Do you have any insights into that? What sort of have you had any? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of the right word. Mm, like realizations while doing a fast, or is it mainly being physical benefits? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because for me, like food can be, you know, a distraction. So I, I am, I don't want really to eat if I'm hungry, but I'm eating if I'm feeling sad or mad or angry or, you know, tired. So a lot of food I'll eat is because I'm tired and the food is not there. And oh no, I need to like really feel the tiredness and maybe rest. And mm. um, then I'll get a headache because, because I'm detoxifying and it spirals. But um, I feel clear. So when I'm not digesting, because a lot of your energy will go into your tummy to digest the food um yeah. but when you're not eating then it's like right eventually the energy starts rising up and you feel clear and you feel like okay now i have to look at all the things that i've been numbing with food um and 
now I get bored because I don't have that food like lunch break. Now I have to mm. do something else. So yeah. I felt like I had more hours in the day. I mm. felt like, wow, I have a lot more hours because I'm not thinking about food, thinking about mm. buying food, thinking about preparing food, and then like eating food. Um, a lot more, a lot more energy. So I'd wake up like early. I have energy get out of bed because I didn't have that energy like digesting the food a lot more clear. Mm. So there's many, many, many benefits. Um, mm. But also, I love, I love food, and I don't recommend just fast in the winter because you know you're already cold, and I think that you need to ground in the winter more. Yeah, yeah. But mm. yeah, your energy like really transforms and really changes. Sorry, guys, that's the end of the podcast. It cut out. Hope you enjoyed what you heard, um, and have a great day.